Okay, so we're starting a new unit, um, and we're going to be start, starting to talk about a topic. It's actually, you don't need to write this down. It's called stoichiometry, which sounds like kind of long and confusing, um, and it makes you sound really cool, but it's actually pretty easy. It's going to be a little bit math. Um, it's going to be mostly dividing and multiplying, um, so nothing really crazy, but it might look a little bit hard when we're starting to do it. So just stay with me, stay watching the videos, things like that, because this unit is going to look a little bit hard. Um, but we're going to be able to work through it just fine, so don't worry too much. But just know that this is kind of a harder unit for students, and so it's really important that you stay on top of your work um, and that you also stay really organized. Okay, you're going to see that this unit can get out of hand if you don't stay organized, so staying organized is key. Anyways, to start off this unit, we're going to be started talking about this thing called a mole. And a mole in chemistry... Um, is a unit of measurement. Um, so it is, you know, a unit of measurement. Um, and so in chemistry, when we're talking about things, we're talking, you know, about these little tiny atoms that are super, super tiny, and they make up everything. And so in, you know, an object or in a mixture or a solution or things like that, there are so many different atoms. There are, you know, tons tons and tons and tons and we want to be able to simply say how many there are without having to use huge numbers and so that's where this mole comes into play and so in chemistry you will say that you have one mole of something um so it's again it's like a unit of measurement and so when you say you have one mole of something that means that you actually have 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd um, atoms or particles. Um, and so that's what you're saying. So it's a way, instead of having to say, you know, these huge numbers all the time in chemistry, when we use moles, we're starting to say, you know, 1, 2, 14, smaller number, numbers. And we just know that when we need that, you know, is this times that or whatever. So it's just this mole is 6.022 times 10 to 23rd atoms. Uh, and some people kind of get confused about what this kind of means, you know, the word mole. I like to think mole is kind of similar to when people say a dozen. So when people say a dozen in English, they're meaning the number 12 all the time. You can say, I have a dozen eggs. That means you have 12 eggs. You could say, I have a dozen um, toothbrushes. That means you have 12 toothbrushes. Um, it's also similar maybe to saying um, when you have like a pair of something. I have a pair that equals two. People just know that that's what you're talking about. This word means that number. This word means that number. It's the same thing when you say mole, you're meaning this big number. And so, you know, when we're talking about things in chemistry, one mole is 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd atoms. If we're talking about one mole of people, that'd be 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd people. Um, so it's just the mole is this number is what we're saying like how a dozen is 12 a mole is 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd so that's just something to kind of keep in mind um that helps me understand better what a mole is and how we use it um so when we write chemical equations um this is an example of one so when writing chemical equations um, these numbers in front actually tell us the number of moles um, that we have in this um, this equation. All right, so all of these different numbers mean the number of moles. So in this one, you know, we're saying we have two moles of H2O gives us one mole of O2 and two moles of H2. Um, so that's where we kind of connect this number of moles to our chemical equations. So we're going to be talking about that more in the next video. So watch the next video. But this is just kind of an intro. Also, I forgot to mention, um, sometimes when we say the word, um, we can also write the word mole as M-O-L. So I might be doing that in some of the videos. That just means mole. It's just a kind of shorter way to doing it because this unit is going to be kind of a lot of writing. And so we're trying to shorten it sometimes by saying that. Um, anyways, watch the next video for a little bit more about the mole and chemical equations.